Introducing the new procedural modeling and animation toolkit from Insidium. Create amazing animations, complex geometry and splines. This is Mesh Tools. A set of procedural, non-destructive modeling objects, mesh tools can be layered infinitely to build and animate complex meshes in real time. Animate using shaders, fields, vertex maps, selections and keyframes for full control. Use Mesh Tools Edge Spline to create dynamic splines based on your scene objects with different modes like Outline, Curvature and Contour. Creating live adjustable edge splines has never been so easy. You can also create dynamic splines where two objects intersect. Let's take these MoGraph clone planes, animate them on and we'll set up an intersection spline and where our MoGraph clone planes intersect our statue we get a spline. In this scene we have a primitive plane and it has an animated video material. Let's use that material to drive our mesh tools edge splines. So we'll activate this base, we will drag our material into the texture tag and we can adjust the tolerance of where we want the splines to be created. Let's change the colour and now we have our base skull animated splines. Let's layer these up with some more layers, each with different tolerances and colours. We'll offset their position and when we animate you'll see incredibly stylized animated material based splines. Animating with mesh tools is easy. Here we have some logo geometry and we're creating these inset polygons using a mesh tools inset. We're driving the position of those with an animated noise texture. You can see them moving across the surface. Let's add a box field which will create a wipe on and off. And we can now layer this up with an additional inset for more detail. We can use this with displacer and jiggle deformers for more organic movement. And now we can test different looks by going to our inset and hiding the inner faces or hiding the outer faces. Let's break down our procedural city growth animation. So what we have is a primitive plane and that is a child of a mesh tools subdivider. This is set up with a linear field, so as that animates on, we're getting more subdivisions on our plane. Our subdivider is a child of another mesh tool subdivider with its own linear field, and that's adding some additional subdivisions, but this is being driven by a noise shader, so we're getting these patches of more heavily subdivided plane. This is in a child of a mesh tools inset, which enables us to create these inset polygons. We can animate those on. And it's the inner faces of these that we want to give depth, which will become our cities. So we will create an inner faces selection tag, which we can then use in our mesh tools shell gen object. This will then enable us to animate on the thickness, which will become our buildings. Now we have our mesh tools hierarchy, we can use this on any scene object. So let's just deactivate that plane, we'll activate this pyramid, and all of that animation is going to work. Let's try with our sphere, run it backwards, and all of that animation working perfectly. Fast, intuitive, procedural modeling and animation. New from Insidium. This is Mesh Tools.